Hello everyone and welcome to Photo Finds, I'm your host Gavin Hatch. This week we'll be escaping to paradise and exploring Universal Orlando's fifth and newest on-site hotel, Lowe's Sapphire Falls Resort. Located across the street from Cabana Bay Beach Resort and right next to Lowe's Royal Pacific Resort, the Sapphire Falls Resort is Caribbean inspired and has a thousand guest rooms and suites. Now instead of parking at the resort itself and starting in the front at the lobby, I decided to go the other way. I parked at CityWalk in the parking structures that you would use if you're going to the theme parks and used the water taxi that drops you off right there at the hotel itself. Now this is not the first hotel to do that. If you stay at the Hard Rock, Portofino Bay, or Royal Pacific, those three hotels also offer the water taxi service at no cost. There's also walkways, so it's only about a 10 minute walk to the front of each park from all these hotels, which is very nice. Now something I noticed on the water taxi is that they've added these traffic lights along the waterways here and I, I assume that this is probably because there are a lot more water taxis now being used in the waterways going to and from the resorts. Now this one you will see as you make your way right past uh, Islands of Adventure before you get to Royal Pacific. That way I guess they don't have two water taxis in one area at the same time. That way there's room and of course for safety. On your way to Sapphire Falls, you pass the Royal Pacific Resort. Something that I really like about Universal Orlando's transportation system when it comes to their water taxis is that each resort has its own taxi. So you don't have to get on one at City Walk and then stop at two other hotels before you get to yours. It's always direct. So that's really nice. It's always kind of annoying when you go on the ones from Epcot and you're trying to get to the Swan and Dolphin because you have to stop at the Boardwalk and then the Yacht and Beach Club. It's kind of time consuming. It's actually faster to walk there. So this is nice, it goes directly to the resort. What's really interesting is that less than a month ago, this waterway was not here at Sapphire Falls. It was just a big hole and they added the water less than a month ago and I want to say probably only two or three months ago they had added this bridge. There was no bridge that you went under uh, to get to the resort so that was new as well. There was a road there and it just they really did this very quickly and it's very impressive and it's just so nice seeing the resort as you pull in and it kind of circles around the lagoon and you get to see the water features and the plants are still going in. There's still a lot of work being done when it comes to the plants around the resort so there's still trees and bushes and mulch and things like that that are being added in but once all that's in there and it's grown and taken a few years to do it will look really lush really tropical and just be beautiful here's some more shots of that lagoon area that you see when you're coming in through the water taxis i'd love to have a room overlooking this because i love that grand big waterfall that you see that actually is tied into the to the pool area which i'll show you in a few moments but i love how it go, kind of go goes under the uh, enclosed indoor walkway bridge that overlooks the pool on one side the lagoon on the other and you walk through that to get to some of the guest rooms you have a great view as well as uh, for islands of adventure in the lobby and also out here you can see the towers from dr doom's fear fall uh, part of the hulk you can see the pharaoh's lighthouse at the entrance of islands and then from some of the rooms and other areas of the resort you'll have a great view of the back of uh, ripsaw falls and and the King Kong attraction in Jurassic Park. So it's gonna be providing great views of Islands of Adventure. Now all around the resort, since it is Caribbean inspired, um, the, the color scheme is very light blues, baby blues, which is great. Also some orange and just different colors that are bright to make things pop. You also have this beautiful stonework everywhere. There's stones and it's just, I love the stonework put all around and there's wood and it's just, it's great. And again, when they finish putting in all the trees and bushes and things like that, and of course they have some time to settle and grow, this place is going to look just so beautiful, very tropical, and really take you away to another world while you're here at Universal. And from this shot, even though there was rain, you can see that there is a, a lot of sand and stuff still on the other side of the lagoon where they're putting plants in between the resort and Royal Pacific. Now before it started raining, I got some shots of the pool area. I didn't get to go in because I'm not a resort guest, but this is the largest pool at Universal Orlando out of all the five hotels they have now. This is the largest. It holds 313,434 gallons of water. That's a lot of water. The pool also features two sand beach areas, a children's play area with pop-up jets, a huge hot tub, and a water slide. There are also private cabanas that you can rent. 
Now here on the Attractions Magazine channel, you can see videos, a video tour of the resort, um, and that does showcase and show off the bar that is out there at the pool area, as well as the hot tub and the children's play areas. So if you wanna see that, go ahead and click over to that video. That video also showcases the interior of the rooms. So I do not get to go inside any of the hotel rooms because I am not a resort guest, but if you do wanna see what the inside of the rooms look like, that will be on that video as well, here on the Attractions Magazine channel. Now earlier I said that the waterfall kind of ties in to the pool area. So from above you can see on one side the pool and there's a walkway there and then kind of blends in that with the water that you would see that connects to the uh, waterfall itself out in the lagoon. So on the other side you can see how it does cascade and go right into that waterfall area. So it's, it's seamless, it looks really nice and I love the theming here. This is just, this is great, it's beautiful. Now, as you can see, it rained on me that day, but if it rains during your stay, there's still things to do inside the hotel. So for example, for the kids and teenagers, they will love the Calypso Game Zone. Now inside the game zone, you do not pay individually for each game. You will go ahead and pay for a card, and that card has loaded credits on there, so you pay different prices depending on how many credits that you want to have. Right across the hallway from the game zone is the fitness center, so if you want to get your workout in while you're on vacation, they have a lot of different types of machines to use that overlook the pool area. So a nice view, and there's TVs in there as well that you can use while you're working out. Now my favorite area of a resort is the lobby. I spend a lot of time relaxing in the lobby, so let me show you that. As you come in, this is the grand main lobby, and it is beautiful but it's huge. As you can see, it's a big open space. And for a preferred hotel, this is really nice. It feels almost like a premier hotel by the size of it. And it's just very open. I love how straight ahead, when it's clear weather, you can see out into Islands of Adventure and see Dr. Doom's Fearfall and the lighthouse. And above you is this beautiful chandelier that is just, it's so, it's just, it's Caribbean. It definitely takes you away to the Caribbean themed uh, feel and it's, it's great. There are lots of chairs and couches and places just to sit down and relax and update your statuses and tell your friends where you're at. And as you wait for your family to check in or for your rooms to be ready, there's lots of areas just to relax and enjoy the atmosphere. And they have these TVs over um, up towards near the uh, the big glass window that overlooks the lagoon and the parks and that has multiple different channels playing so you can watch different stations at the same time to make everyone happy again just a nice area to relax in um, again as you wait for your room or just to meet up with someone it's great and then the stores and restaurants are all accessible very easily from the lobby area and I'll show you that here in just a second but first I wanna show you two more things here in the lobby area. First, you can plug in your USB outlets or your chargers for your cell phones, tablets, and laptops all here. So if you're relaxing in the lobby, you have a way of charging uh, your electronic devices. And then if you are checking in, I love this check-in area because behind the desks, there's this huge uh, picture of a tropical island, but it's kind of like painted onto uh, these boards, uh, wood boards. You can't really tell in this picture, but it's really beautiful, I love it. Again, this whole resort just takes you away. Now the Caribbean people are known for their rum, and they make really good rum in the Caribbean, and they have the Strong Water Tavern right off the lobby, and that is a signature rum bar. Now at the Strong Water Tavern, they have at any given time, five barrels of rum aging. Uh, which is really neat. And if you love your rum, you can attend a rum tastings. They have rum specialists there. So they have rum tastings. And while you're dining here or having those tastings, you can do it inside or outside. They have wonderful outdoor seating, which overlooks the lagoon. So great views. Now, because of the rain, I was not able to go out there and get those shots, but I did love in the ceiling above you as you come in, the tops of the barrels that they, or they look like barrel tops are above you that's in the ceiling there. I just, I love that. That's a really nice touch. Across from the check-in desk on the other side of the lobby, there is the ticketing area where you can go and purchase your Universal Orlando tickets so you don't have to do it at the windows in the parks. You also can do Blue Man Group tickets here, make reservations for different restaurants around City Walk or in the theme parks. So it just makes things a lot easier. One-stop shop for you if you're staying here at Sapphire Falls. And I do love how they're utilizing and using the new Universal Orlando Resort logo. So that's really nice. It looks very sleek. And I haven't talked about that on Photo Finds yet, but Universal Orlando has changed their logo so it is changing uh, slowly but surely um, in different areas but the park maps have already changed and obviously here at the resorts it's changed um, but I love it it's a nice new logo 
Now across from the ticketing area, you have the Universal Studio Store. This is a store that is in all the resorts at Universal. It's also in City Walk and in the park. So this is where you go and get those merchandise items to have with you before you go into the parks. At the front of the store, they have a table that's set up with all the items that you can purchase that are from Sapphire Falls. So you have the straw hat here with the logo on it. You have a polo, women's polo that's white and very, it looks like it's very comfortable to wear on a hot day in the parks. And that has a Sapphire Falls logo on it. You also have a t-shirt. There's tote bags, which are gonna be nice to have with you out by the pool, as well as these really cute tumblers that have the logo on it. And it's just, it's really neat, really well themed. And again, that's probably nice to have with you when you go out to the pool and spend the afternoon there. So a lot of cute little merchandise items for the resort. Now right across from the Universal Studio store is the new Dutch Trading Company. This is where you would go if you want to get something quick and on the go to take back to your room or take with you by the pool or before you go out to the parks in the morning get some breakfast. They have, uh, they serve all kinds of different ice creams. They have sodas, beers, and snacks, things like that you can just buy. But they also do prepare sandwiches, paninis, and things like that in here. And it's just a beautiful store. They have coffee and they do sell these souvenir cups that I think are really cute. I know that Cabana Bay Beach Resort sells these as well, and you can take them into parks. They're those unlimited drink cups that the parks sell, but they, of course, are you know showing off the resort. So you can purchase those here for Sapphire Falls as well. Take them home with you, bring them back for future visits, and you have unlimited drinks for the whole day when you just pay like 6 or $7 that day to have unlimited drinks in the parks and at the resort. It's, it's a good deal, and these are cute cups. They also have their own brand of coffee, the New Dutch Trading Company coffee that you can buy. It's Colombian coffee that looks really good and then they have these mugs. I'm a collector of mugs. I love collecting mugs even though I shouldn't buy them, but these are cute. I like how it has the New Dutch Trading Company logo on one side. You turn it around and it is the Lowe's Sapphire Falls Resort logo. So that's, that's really cute as well. Now, like I said earlier, I did not get the chance to go into any of the guest rooms to take photos, but the hallways to get to your room are really nice. The color scheme is beautiful and they have the lighting. is just very relaxing. All the lights in the hallway are from these light fixtures that are outside of each room's door. And again, the theming here is just, it's very cohesive. It's really nice. And when you want to have your room serviced, you put these little tags on your door. It says out at sea, please service room. Now I didn't see any that said do not disturb, but I'm sure those are also kind of themed and tie into the Caribbean inspired theme. So I think that's just, it's really well done. Now off the main lobby to get to the water taxis, to get to the restaurant downstairs and the pool, you will use this staircase here. This is kind of like the grand staircase of Sapphire Falls and it is so nice. Again, the stonework is beautiful. I love it. I love the lighting. It kind of reminds me of St. Augustine in a way and it's just the grand chandelier in here and then as you're walking down the stairs there's lots of beautiful photos of different Caribbean places and then at the very bottom they have rum barrels and carts and things like that that you'd see uh, being pushed around in the Caribbean islands and it just makes it feel very authentic and it's impressive and everyone had their phones out taking pictures of it. Now on the first floor, after you go down the grand staircase, on your way outside to the water taxis, you'll pass the Amatista Cookhouse. And this is where they have Caribbean cuisine prepared in an open exhibition kitchen, which makes Amatista Cookhouse an instantly inviting option for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. So they serve all three things there, which is great. They offer indoor and outdoor seating and even private dining rooms if you'd like to have that for larger parties. Well, that will do it for this week's edition of Photo Finds. I hope all of you have a great week. Now, a common question that I get, and I'm sure I'll get on this episode, is will I get the express passes for staying at Sapphire Falls? You will not get express passes for staying here because this is a preferred hotel, not a premier. The preferred and value hotels do not include express. So if you want to get that express pass system, um, you will have to stay at premier hotel, which is going to be Hard Rock, Portofino, or Royal Pacific. But Cabana Bay and Sapphire Falls still offer early parking admission for all resort guests and also you get the complimentary water taxis and transportation to the different areas of Universal. So next time you're staying at Universal, I would highly recommend staying at Sapphire Falls Resort. Until next time, make sure you guys subscribe to Attractions Magazine and make sure you get out, you have fun, and you enjoy the parks. Music